One Suncoast resident says he's shocked to become a victim of a brazen crime, and that's all in broad daylight. As an end, John Woodruff has more. It's not the fact that the robbery so much, but the brazenness of the attitude of the person who did this in a public parking lot with people moving in and out. Doug Battersher was surprised to hear his wife's car was broken into in the LA Fitness parking lot, especially since the burglary happened at 5 o'clock in the evening. What I find shocking is a couple of things. One, the hour of the day that it happened. Number two, that the sheriff informed us that we were the fourth robbery at that same place that week. The sheriff's office says thieves often target gym parking lots because they know when you walk through the door, you'll be in there for at least 45 minutes to an hour working out, leaving them plenty of time to break into your car. These burglars will just go down a row of cars and they'll be looking. And if they see an iPad, if they see a laptop, they see a cell phone sitting there, chances are you're going to become a victim. The sheriff's office says most of the time, thieves are looking for unlocked cars. But if the prize is right, smash and grabs do occur. People need to keep their cars locked and keep your valuables out of the car. For Battersher, he wishes this message came sooner and from gym management. The fact that there are no security cameras or the public isn't being warned when the establishment knows that it happened this week, that's an alarming factor to me. Reporting in Manatee County, John Woodruff, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office reports since the first of the year, there have been 725 vehicle burglaries, and that number is down from 2013, where over the same period of time, there were 984 reported thefts. They credit public awareness of these crimes in reducing that statistic. And just last week, the Sarasota Police Department issued a similar warning about gym parking lots within the city.